What is popping, as they say? Uh, it is week nine. <clears throat> it is week nine. But it's actually not week nine anyway, uh, because um, it's been several months. I have not recorded um, any of these uh, uh, post comms um, for several months. Um, I just want to knock it out because the new league is starting soon. And uh, if I can get good momentum with that, then I'll be doing the same thing. Um, recording um, that season and uh, posting it. So we'll see if that pans out because um, I got so lazy with this. Um, yeah, week eight was recorded a long time ago too. So I will get that up. Also like making the thumbnails, like my crappy thumbnails and um, uh Microsoft Paint is time consuming as well. Um, just like, I just don't like doing stuff. I'm such a damn lazy bones. Sucks. Um, but yeah, um, we're going up against Toronto Greninja this week. Very scary team. Um, Iveltal, uh, one of the best Pokemon available in the league. Um, Reshiram and Iveltal is a crazy pairing. Um, might be better than mine. It's just Ho and, uh, uh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and then just like overall, the team has a lot of really good tools, very good team overall. Um, I have you know, a different display here because my um, I mean, I guess I still have it, I could have done it, um, could have set it up, but you know, we'll just go with this. Um, we are rocking no fire move ho -Oh. Should have coverage for everything. Got Toxic um, for Ivelto especially. Uh, but Ho just hits so hard. Um, like, you know, without Fire Stab there. Um, um, we got our Double Scarfs. Uh, this is going to be a bad uh, commentary because I'm pretty rusty. Um, but got to get back into it. So, um, Grass Knot um, is there for Palafin. Uh, Ice Beam for Iveltel. Um, Greninja has been a solid contributor this season. Um, Toxtricity uh, with Terra Ground is um, pretty free. Uh, Tangrowth um, there for Palafin is actually one of the scariest Pokemon he has. Even though we have Vaporeon and Tangrowth, um, we need them both, I think, because Palafin is just not... Um, yeah, it's going to be doing a lot into our team, considering that we have Ho-Oh. And then Greninja is going to be able to take moves too. But yeah, like we're just not as scared of Veltal because we do have our Mega Deancey as our last contributor, which has bulk. Same with Reshiram. Uh, Mega Deancey is crucial in this matchup because uh, it counters both of his uh, legendaries, his Ubers, uh, which is awesome. Um, Ho-Oh also does super well there. Uh, Vaporeon is a great rushing around check. Um, overall, like, we've got the tools um, to deal with him. Um, yeah, like, Archaeops is one of the scary things because it's, uh, you know, rock type um, for a ho -oh fast. We don't have a lot of resist for it, so uh, if we end up not seeing Archaeops, we'll be happy. Um, and. I suppose Zerka Tree might be scary as well, but we do have our Zerk Terra Ground on Toxtricity and an Assault Fist Tangrowth. Um, so, I believe that's generally the picture of the matchup. Like, we, all season this team has been able to throw, th to handle most things thrown at it. So, let's get into it, I guess. Um, and we see no Archaeops. I didn't expect, I don't think I expected Mega Lope, honey, um, because... You know, just oh, it's so good into it. Um, and uh, I don't even off the top of my head, I don't remember the other five Pokemon that we have. But um, yeah, I think Zamazenta would have dealt with Megalopunny, so he didn't want to bother with that. I don't think it just like it takes too long to get going. Um, it doesn't do enough damage, um, and uh, it can't really help impose his will too much on me um so we're gonna lead off with Gren which has been a very solid lead all season um 
you can do something into everything that leads off. So maybe Reshiram. Um, and then, like, you know, we can, you know, just U-turn out into one of our mods that takes Reshiram's attacks, of which we have several. Um, so he is going to go Baby Palafin to start. And um, we're going to go for a Grass Knot. I don't think it Oko's right away. I had the cal uh, Calc up here, but, like, Specs Oko's it. Um, so... I could be wrong, actually. Let's try it. Because what I was looking at... Um, yeah. Uh, now, if he has some bulk... He doesn't, but I have an 81% chance um, to do it. And considering that uh, this is just his... Um, uh, I hate when I click out something I'm not supposed to. It's fine, though. Um... I just get distracted easily, um, but yeah, I'm thinking that like because he doesn't really have. I mean, he has Surf, but like this being the Mon that he might want to go into on Greninja to start, that he might just let me have it with a Grass Knot. So we're gonna go right for it, but he's gonna go Clawed, um, and I'm believing that this is super death for that reason. So we're gonna go right for it. Um, we're going to go right into Ho-Oh um, on a Poison move or on Hazards. He's unlikely to have Stone Edge, in my opinion, um, on this thing. Like, I think he'd rather have, like, Toxic, which is no big deal for Ho-Oh. Um, but, um, yeah. And we're just going to get off of Brave Bird because it's super free into the team. Um, and uh, we're going to start chipping down Palafin very very quick and easy um, with a big giant brave bird um, that's awesome so we're gonna get out of here but he's gonna actually double on me um, Tangrowth being a more general idea of um, what he might want to do um, into Palafin, uh, overall a little bit better. Um, so Vaporeon would have been great for him on that, but, I mean, he is only neutral to water. Um, so, yeah, good position for him here, but luckily we have two big balls, um, that Reshiram can't do much about. We're gonna go to our DNC, get our rocks up, he does go Serp, um, an offensive switch on his part um, and then we got to get out of there um, and um, pretty much anything he wants to do is going to be fine in the touch just he does defog um, which is fine and then we're gonna go ho um, on his Claude Sire is what I was gonna do um, Yeah. Well, hold on. Cause so, yeah. All right, but this works out. He goes to Aegis Slash. Um, there's also I mean, the idea that I could have poison moved there, and so that's why Aegis Slash would have come out. Claude is still, you know, <clears throat> maybe a little safer, but and yeah, because then he has to do that. But then. He's going to go Reshiram, and I guess he does it on the fire move, so this doesn't really work out for me. Um, but, like, yeah, because I, I don't actually have a fire move. I could have um, just EQ'd um, or even Brave Birded for Chip. Um, so, but um, I was thinking that he would go... Uh, I th you know what I was doing? Yeah, I would... Uh, I wanted to head... Scout for Head Smash. Um, just... Uh, didn't want to, because I can't Oko Aegislash. Um, it's too bulky. Um, so, yeah, I want to, I don't want to go into, like, Vapo, which is, like, tougher to heal up um, than uh, my regen Pokemon here. Um, and uh, if you just wanted to go for, like, a Shadow Ball with AV, we can take it. So, just an overall general move. But he goes into his Reshiram on the Fire move, which does not uh, work out well for me. But, it's fine. 
because I have this too, it does takes almost the exact same damage as um, Mega DNC. Um, but um, yeah, if Holo hit um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I could have EQ'd basically, um, but or no, I'm so stupid. Um, I can't do that because he might have the head smash I just said. Um, but basically, like, go into something, like, on him going into Reshiram into the fire move would have been fine. So probably Vapo would have been in better for, in general, than Tangrowth. But I gave my reason for why it was Tangrowth instead, so. Let me double check my EVs here, actually. Yeah, Vapo should have been able to take that well. Um, but, uh, it's alright. And then we're going to wish up as, um, I'm going to assume he's Water Absorb. Because I don't think I have much set up for him to be scared of. Not on this part of the team, anyway. Um, not even going to bother to try. Going to wish up Mega Deancy. Here's uh, the Pokemon that we want, and we are extremely healthy right now. Um, he does go Serp into um, probably on like the Protect, but it also worked out for him since there's Mega Deancy here. We'll get out, we'll go ho -ho. He just gets a knock, um, cause he can't really do anything to ho -ho, otherwise it's gonna be glare. But we decided to accept glare. We'd rather have that um, than uh, our scarf on Tox getting knocked anyway. Um, <clears throat> so we did it the first time, so we just go into ho, ho to see if we can get him a different look. Um, and we are going to take care of Palafin here on the sack. Um, you know, I think he probably, no, that's later. Okay. Now we've got this scary thing in, but we are so tanky, but it doesn't connect. So that sucks. Um, but here, like I forgot to mention, look how much bulk we have on Iron Green Ninja. Scarf, no speed. I think that works out actually quite nicely on when it needs to outspeed. Um, but that's really cool. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with putting bulk on Scarf Greninja this season. Um, and that totally works out. 49. Couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah, just you turn out on this guy. Not staying in on that ice beam. Now here comes Ho-Ho. Mm -hmm. And at this point, we're pretty sure he's not head smash. Because he would have gone for it. He had the opportunity. So maybe we're getting conditioned there, but um, it makes sense, right? That he would have head smashed before when ho -Oh, super free, was in front of it. Anyway, um, yeah, and at this point, you know, we're chipping down, trying to preserve as we do. Working out at the moment, big damage on that. Here comes Serp on the defog, but we don't fall for it. We go ahead and get a Brave Bird off because it would have taken out the Clod. Um, and he's unlikely to go Aegislash, um, but not only because I just EQ'd, but just in general. So that's cool. We are knocked off, um, and uh, rocks are here. So that's annoying, but ho -Oh is, as I think we've seen already this season, so bulky that taking rocks is really not that big a deal. Which is crazy to say, but it's been amazing. A very annoying fusion flare crit, um, but it's not enough for him to pick it up on the second one. And we are going to pick off his clod. And now we're up three to six. And at this point, it might just be managing sacks. Hmm. So. He can, if he wants to finish me off 
with another shadow ball but we're gonna at least get our defog up our defog off and um, at that point it probably would have been acceptable to me to lose ho -Oh. um, getting the uh, the defog off is quite nice um, I feel like there's maybe more to this play that I'm not noticing at this point in time um, but like yeah, it just I think it's like just that Aegis Slash like it feels that either King Shield is free or that it, like it can get out. Um, or that it's like rather that it's going to get out. And so Defog feels free here. Um, on the uh, on the switch out more than anything. Um, and we're gonna preserve Ho. -Oh. And he is going to get another spin-off drop. But Yeah, even though, like, I mean, I don't know if, like, really why he went rushing Ram there. I don't know if he just doesn't have that many options. But, um, Shadow Ball, again, makes more sense, right? Like, I mean, Gren could come out, or ho -Oh, one or the other, probably, right? Probably not staying in with my tan growth, which is naturally slower than, um, Aegislash, um, to just get killed. Um, I mean... To be honest, maybe I could because I, it doesn't really do much from this point out. I mean, it helps versus Aegis Slash. I have EQ on it and Knock. Um, but, like, yeah, I'm not sure. But at any rate, that's pretty easy, right? Go ahead, we do get 50, but he has lefties. And so he is going to do that. Um, but, um, yeah, honestly, I mean, I don't think there was even, like, a roll. Um, like, I should have probably Brave Birded there. Um, I, I remember thinking quite hard um, on that turn as to what he might do. Um, but in retrospect, going to Bell Toll on that play seems quite obvious. Um, and it's at this point that he can start doing some tough stuff because that is big fucking damage. Um, and he's going to finish off my Vapo, which is kind of unfortunate, but we're up so much that it is still just sack management, I think. Um, and, uh, yeah, he is... Like, it would have been nice to keep that around for that, but now we have free Toxtricity. Um, he stays in, even though that could happen. Yeah, he can't. Unless he, like, roosts there, nothing's going to happen. But even then, like, um, yeah, at, at that point, yeah, Voltage into Mega Deancy was super free because um, even if you roost a Moonblast, if he attacks, I just go back. He's still weakened. Um, yep, yeah, just chips, chip, chip, chip. And at this point... Toxic on an incoming Eveltal. Um, but now I Brave Bird. Um, just to, like, you know, have something happen. Um, and it does end up finishing it off. I was not going to EQ at that point. I do recall that, yeah, the primary thing I wanted to do was to um, just finish him off at that point. I didn't want to get fooled again on the EQ, and I don't. Now here's Age Slash. Here to get finished off. No, not quite. Another Spadef drop. Nope. And that should be it. GG. I don't remember exactly what our record is at this point. Um, but I gotta go. Goodbye.